Hey, that looks like a swamp rattler. Yeah, that's right. You kill it, Joe? No, this came from my father. Better dead anyhow. Why? Well, they're poisonous. Oh, sure, but they don't bite unless they're frightened or excited. Don't harm him, and he won't harm you. But what good do they do? Well, all life in the forest has a purpose. You kill the snakes, and soon you have too many gnawing animals. The rats, the squirrels, and the rabbits. And in a little time, a few hundred years, maybe, you have no more trees, no forest. Well, but sometimes you've got to. Kill them, maybe. To save a human life, perhaps. But not just because he's a snake. Hey, look at that. Someone in trouble. Someone up the river. Pretty bright guy. Capsized canoe comes downstream, so he figures that... Come on, we take a look. We got the portage here. This could be where it happened. Sure. You two go up the river and see what you can find. I take the canoe by the trail. You, uh, like my hat? Maybe you just lost a hat like this, huh? Just, uh, you? Okay, that's fine. I've got a couple of friends a little ways on. Around your age. Why don't we go talk to them, huh? <laughs> I got scared when I saw the rapids and came into shore, but I couldn't get the canoe out and it got away. Well, oh, don't worry. We saw it. It's not damaged. But I've got to get to Indian River. My brother's been bitten by a snake, you see, and I've got to get help. What kind of snake? Well, I think it was a rattlesnake. A rattler? When did this happen? More than an hour ago. Something ought to be done. How long does it take? Well, you got to start fixing it inside a couple of hours. And if you don't? Oh, you get pretty sick. Can you die? Maybe it wasn't a rattler. Could it have been? I don't know. I've never heard of any around here for a long time. Well, if it is, we could do something. Sure. Then why are we sitting here wasting time? Don't you worry. We go with you, maybe we can help. But you know what I think? Your father's probably halfway to Indian River in this car. You don't know my father. Come on, we take a look, huh? Stop fussing, Harriet. The boy's hysterical enough as it is. Well, he has been bitten. If he will go crawling about taking photographs of animals instead of shooting them like a man. But if it was a rattlesnake... I tell you, I'm next to certain it wasn't. There hasn't been a rattler seen in this area for ten years or more. Well, it was a snake, and his arms very sore and inflamed. I know that. There are plenty of snakes that can give you quite a nasty nip and still do no serious harm. There's no need to go into a decline. Just in case, couldn't we get a doctor? My dear Harriet, we're pretty far out in the bush. We can't just summon a doctor the way we can in the city. We have to use our own resources, use our own judgment, make our own decisions. And if they're wrong? I don't think they are in this case. Come here, son. I don't want my son to behave like a coward. No, sir. You know why I bring you here. If I want you to get tough, be able to take care of yourself in the bush. Later on, you'll be glad of this. Most kids would be grateful for it now. I am too, Pop, but right now, I just don't feel too good. I'm not surprised. Your mother and your sister have made quite a panic about all this. 
but brooding won't help. Look, only one puncture hole. Now, if it had been a rattler, there'd be two. Now, I know about these things, Willie. I've taken a great deal of trouble to learn them. And you can take it from me. That's not a rattler bite. Yes, sir. Why don't you go out and get some fresh air? Yes, sir. Okay, son. Get going. Willie, tell me the truth, son. Do you think it was a rattler? Mm, well, sir. Did it rattle? No, sir. That's fine. He's my son, too, you know. That's no reason for him not to grow up and be a man, is it? Right now, I just want him to grow up. So, couldn't we just make sure, even if we can't get a doctor? How? Well, isn't there an anti-venom? I'm sure they keep it at the ranger stations. Yes, there is, and uh, I believe they do. Well? Don't you know what happens if it's given to someone who's sensitive to horse serum? No, I... I don't read so many books as you do. Well, I guess it cures the snake bite. But the patient dies. For a doctor. Well, that's good. What's so good about it? Well, if the kid was really ill, someone would have gone. My mother can't drive. Your dad would have gone. I don't know. You trying to tell me your dad would just do nothing if he thought your little brother was going to not get better, maybe? It's just that he doesn't want Willie to grow up soft. That's different. Sure, but I sometimes think he doesn't know that. Maybe we'll just forget about this, huh? And go back to camp. No, please don't. Go back, just do nothing? I'll tell you this. It can't be too bad if the kid's father doesn't want to go and look for help. Well, just in case. Let's go up and see if we can help. Okay. Come on, there's a trail up to the tree. Hey. Maybe you're going to learn something, boy. What? You can't help folk even when they need it if they don't want to be helped. Well, what makes you think that... I don't think. I just got a little feeling. Come on. Where have you been? I went to get help. Help? For Billy, this gentleman. You went in the canoe? Yes, I... I guess I lost it. It's okay. I know where it is. I thought I told you never to go in the canoe alone. Sure. And you keep telling us to get tough. Learn to take care of ourselves in the bush. And always to ask your mother or me before you go in the canoe or out in the bush. Isn't that right? Don't you know why? No guy's lost if someone knows where he is. Exactly. You better go inside while I talk to your friends. You go. We talk to your dad a little about the kid brother, huh? Okay. Don't worry about the canoe. I think I can find it. Thanks. I wasn't worried about it. Canoes can be replaced. But not kids. But not kids. This little boy... I don't know what my daughter told you, but I guess she didn't tell you that she and her mother are inclined to panic about this sort of thing. The boy's sensitive. He's had a fright. And fussing around won't help. Well, maybe since we came this far, I could take a look. I know quite a bit about snake bite. Ever seen a rattler around here? There were some a long time ago. I haven't seen one in ten years, have you? No, but... Uh... It's just possible one could stray into the area, isn't it, Joe? Well, sure, it's possible. 
but not likely. No. It was very kind of you to come back with my daughter, but I'm afraid it's been a waste of your time. You have a canoe, I suppose? Joe, we just can't back out on this. You took a look at the wound, I guess. Of course I did. It seems to have escaped you that I'm the boy's father. Two little holes? The marks of a rattle's fangs? No. Let's go. Well, he's right. This is his son, and it's his property, and it's not our business. My brother's gone out. He's okay, then? No, he's pretty sick. My mother's scared. She doesn't know where he's gone. Will you please help us find him? Do you have any idea where he may have gone? He knew I'd gone with the canoe to get help. I think he took the trail to the lake. Well, that makes sense. You go back home. You've got enough trouble right now. We find him. Okay? Mm -hmm. He came this way. It's pretty sick. Sure was weaving. Wouldn't take him long to run out of gas. I think maybe he just fainted. I guess he's pretty scared too, poor kid. I'll get some water. Doesn't look too good to me. Don't like the look of myself. Can you find the bite? I guess we could tell from that. Joe. I guess you misunderstood me. I tried to make it clear that I didn't want your help. This little boy is very ill. I'm not surprised. He's had a pretty bad scare. It's a very hot day. And people have been fluttering around him ever since this happened. His mother, his sister, and now a bunch of total strangers. If I could see the bite, I could tell you. Are you a doctor? I'm a half-breed Indian. Fine. I admire you for saying it just like that. But that does not qualify you as an expert. Most of my people have lived in this country for 10,000 years, maybe more. I don't know. Look. Let me spell it out to you. This boy's been bitten by a snake. Maybe a water snake or a milk snake or something equally harmless. We get plenty of them around here. Two hysterical females have worked themselves up into a state of panic. They frighten the boy into thinking it may have been a rattler. And this is the result. How can you be sure he wasn't bitten by a rattler? You've got a one-track mind, kid. That's right. I just want to know how you can be so sure. For one thing, he told me himself. He told you? It didn't rattle. Do you understand that? It just didn't rattle. I appreciate your intentions. It was kind of you to come here. But sometimes a man has to make a decision which isn't too easy. Now, why don't you go away and leave me to make mine? Okay, we go now. But... Uh... KK, go, Kanaba. We go, Seaman. I got a feeling you read plenty books how to be a woodsman. Possibly. So what? Didn't I tell you that a rattlesnake can lose his rattles by accident? This does not stop him being a rattler.
I don't like it, Joe. I wish we could do something. Just can't do anything. He's the kid's father. He could even be right. Do you think he is? Don't make any difference what I think. Just got to keep out of this. Okay, Joe, but what do you think? You want to know? I think this little boy is going to die pretty soon. Don't you think you could drive over to the fire tower and get them to radio Indian River? It wouldn't take long. I still think you're making an unnecessary fuss, Harriet. Just tell me one thing. If you're wrong, if Willie doesn't get better, what will happen to you? Do you really think I'd care what happened to me? If we lost our boy? Well, the way you've been behaving... It's the kid's father. He's gone off somewhere. Do we take a chance, Joe? What kind of chance do you mean, Pete? Look at the bite. Maybe do something. I don't know. I still feel maybe we should keep up. And if, if the kid dies, what are we supposed to feel then? What gives? Who? Sure, put them on. Mr. Lloyd, get your cat back to the house all right. Are you sure it was a rattler? No, I, I'm not sure. At first I was quite sure it wasn't, but right now I'm not sure about anything. If there's an element of doubt, Mr. Lloyd, you don't want anti-venom. You want a doctor. What I want is help, Mr. Keeley, and I want it badly. It's a rattler. One of his fangs made this little hole. Most times, there are two little holes, but today his heart, he was asleep. He's a little bit careless when he struck. You know, maybe he didn't want to strike at all. They don't mean no harm, these snakes. They just get a little excited when they're scared. Is it... Too late? No, I don't think so. They're pretty poisonous, the Massasauga, but he didn't bite too hard. But what do we do? It'll be hours before a doctor can get here. Don't worry. You and me, we start work, huh? You get me hot water, nice clean razor blade, a little iodine, okay? Is he going to live, Joe? I think so. But I guess we left it a little late. Mind if I borrow this? Well... Thanks a lot. I've been on the radio from the fire tower. There's a doctor coming up. He'll be a few hours, but... Is he okay? He's going to be, I think. And it's thanks to... My Winchester. But couldn't have been. No I left one... it on the table. My Winchester. 
I left it on there. Do you know what that is, sir? I read my books, son. Even if I didn't, the look of triumph on your face would tell me. It's a Massasauga rattler. If you look at its tail, you'll see it's lost its rattles. So it has. It didn't mention that in my book. Oh, I borrowed this. Thanks a lot. We have to do this for 20 minutes every hour until the doctor arrives. Shall we do it ourselves, or do you want Mr. Mr. Two Rivers to stay and help us? I'd be extremely grateful if Mr. Two Rivers would stay. That's if he's willing. Sure. Okay. Why not? that rattler. I guess I shouldn't have killed him after what you said. I guess not. But I was mad. Sure. So you kill a snake just because it was a hot day and it made a mistake and bit a little boy. Okay. Mr. Lloyd made a mistake, I guess. Sure, he's a human being. That's one of the reasons we're here for, to make mistakes. I got them all wrong, Joe. I made one, too. Why not? Kids of your age are human beings. But you know this? Sometimes I'm not so sure about that. 